Welcome and welcome back to Granny Metalhead TV, and thanks for dropping by. It's time for the next edition of Granny Metalhead Reacts. So on the show, generally speaking, I'm a benevolent dictator. I play what I like and what I think is important, but I also want to add to that. So I ask you guys if there's something that you'd like me to play down below. So all you little granny maniacs, gather around for my latest batch of ear candy because tonight we're going to be checking out the Smithereens Blood and Roses for Granny Metalhead's reaction. Now there's a lot of bands and artists out there that I've, that I've heard of, but I've, I don't know any of their musics. And so although I've heard of the Smithereens, I don't think I've ever heard a single song of theirs. And the reason why is so much music, so little time, so little money. And living out in the sticks most of my life did not help matters at all. Now, this song was a subscriber request by Ronald Milner. And as I said, I've heard of the Smithereens, but I've never heard any of their music. So I don't know what we're about to get us into. But anyway, guys, feel it. Don't fight it. Buckle up tight and let's do this thing. Here is the Smithereens Blood and Roses for Granny Metalhead's reaction. <laughs> Well, all right then. Uh, <clears> that <throat> ended abruptly, but dang, that that was really fine. I I enjoyed that a lot. Um, I mean, I didn't know what to expect. Um, are they? 
are they a punk band, perhaps? The reason why I ask is it, it didn't sound particularly punk to me, but it, maybe just a little bit. But the main thing is there was one picture of them in there, and it looked like they were, might have been in, like, CBGBs or something. I don't know. But uh, very catchy. Uh, I, I wish I had heard this way back in the day because I really like that. I like that one a lot. And... Um, if there's some more from the smithereens that you guys know about that I should check out, hey, I'm really, I'm game for that. Um, I'm, I'm down for that because that was fire. Uh, man, if you're not, you know, I'm not sure I'm blown away by it, but I liked it. Um, I liked it a lot. Um, very, like I said, very, very catchy. And um, when did this song come out? Um, couldn't really kind of kind of almost sounded a little 80-ish, you know. Um, the guys, the, the way they were dressed, well, you know, I mean, they weren't like new wave or totally punk looking, you know. So, I mean, I, but, uh, yeah. Um, let me know below if you guys, you know, want any more of their music or if you ever saw them live or where you were when you first heard this song. Maybe, maybe this was your first time too. Or if it has any special meaning to you, I would love to hear about that. And speaking of the meaning, uh, I'm not really sure the the meaning behind it, it it sounded like that the woman he loved perhaps either left him or committed suicide you know because they said you know the woman we wed and then in december the roses died and you know the, the words that she was saying you know i don't belong um you know, i don't know how that is but anyway i hope you have enjoyed this as much as i have and if so Please like, subscribe, and join the Grainy Maniac family. And then hit that bell for all so that you don't miss anything. And share this video with others so that they can learn about all this excellent music and these artists. It costs you nothing, but it really helps me out a lot. And thanks again, Ronald, for this suggestion. And thanks to all you guys for dropping by. Love to my husband, Eric. And love to all you Grainy Maniacs. Grainy Metalhead is out. Oh my god, no, 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 no. Oh no, what the hell? No! Oh my god. Oh my god, no, no. Oh god. Well, that's cool. That's new. Oh, oh god, sorry. Oh, oh, that's in there. Oh my god.